here in Chicago, where Alan Pan has harnessed the wintertime elements to create an ice sword. Oh! <laughs> he uses ice to slice? Nice. That totally worked. Ice sword is cool because this guy is clearly happily living out a nerd fantasy. <laughs> Winter is coming. But for Alan, that's not a problem. We went to meet this internet inventor and all around ice ninja to ask, why make this frozen weapon? Making an ice sword has been a childhood dream of mine. I really want something that looked like uh, something you'd expect out of a fantasy, uh, sci-fi sort of uh, a thing. It's sort of a ridiculous kind of fantasy weapon, and it does make you feel like you can you can take out some like ice ogres or something. How did Ellen make a sword out of something as fragile as ice? It totally worked. A sword made purely out of ice would be pretty impractical because ice has a very regular ordered crystal structure. And this means that it's really inflexible and can't absorb impacts. In fact, because of this incredibly ordered crystal structure, a small crack in the ice will spread through it very quickly and it will fracture. Instead of making a sword out of ice, Alan has instead used something called pycrete. Pycrete is just water with a fibrous material frozen into it. Alan's pycrete is made of 80% water, 14% toilet paper, and 6% sawdust. These materials disrupt the regular crystal structure of ice, allowing it to distort rather than crack. This means that if a crack does form, rather than passing through the entire ice sword, it will soon meet a layer of sawdust or toilet paper, which will stop the crack from spreading any further. But just how strong is pycrete? We set Alan a concrete challenge. Three, two, one. <laughs> I think this really, really shows you the power of pycrete. I mean, this is, this is what buildings are made out of, and this is ice and toilet paper. I was really surprised by the power of pycrete, just how much it was able to, to do and to take. It was really powerful stuff. Hey, sword. Alan, dude, you are cold. That's messed up, man. That snowman looked so friendly. <laughs>